హలో ప్రమోద్ సార్ హలో ప్రమోద్ సార్ ప్రమోద్ సార్ హలో హలో ప్రమోద్ సార్ డూ యూ లిసన్ మీ హలో ప్రమోద్ సార్ ఎస్ సార్ ఎస్ సార్ వి షెల్ స్టార్ట్ నౌ ఓకే 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 Uh, good afternoon to all of you uh, friends on behalf of uh, philosophy family i extend a hearty welcome to all the viewers connected through this digital academic family uh, friends i extend a hearty welcome to all the scholars students and teachers of philosophy and other subjects to this platform you know during the uh, pandemics we are running through a very crucial situation in spite of everything we have been conducting academic platform for the students of philosophy teachers of philosophy and other subjects for their academic interest and for their academic reflection i can see the faces of many senior uh, teachers of philosophy and other subjects on the screen i bow down my head before them for their participation in today's webinar uh, friends today we have a very beautiful topic the theme of today's webinar is neuro linguistic programming it is a very new and technical subject for all of us though some of us are aware of this topic and today we have invited professor dawran singh nagi popularly known as professor ds nagi the former professor and head department of mathematics and former dean school of sciences hnb garwal central university srinagar uttarakhand i welcome him to our family and i also extend my hearty, hearty gratitude to professor indu khandri ma'am for introducing him to this family because indu ma is always with us and always she introduces many senior professors of her country to us and we all have been benefited by the philosophical reflection of the senior professors of her country uh friends you know uh, this topic is very new for all of us the uh, neuro linguistic uh, uh, programming is a very popular method for communication and personal development being the art of communication excellence it is a study of uh, structure of subjective experience and the potential for learning and teaching in formal education and we will get a much of the academic reflection which will be presented by professor ds nagi but before we talk of professor nagi let me present a few words on his academic excellence uh, professor nagi did his bsc msc and uh, a doctoral degree from garwal central university having 34 years of teaching experience professor negi has proved his academic expertise in different subjects particularly in uh, differential geometry fluid 
dynamics, uh, biomechanics, neuropsychological and linguistic uh, programming, and being an administrator of the same university, he has a lot of contribution for the infrastructure and technical and educational development of the university. Uh, friends, Professor Negi has been assigned as a member of Board of Studies and academic advisor in different universities of Srinagar and country. Today, he is our guest, but he has many contribution to the academic world. And Professor Nagy has supervised seven scholars, seven doctoral scholars who have already obtained PhD degree. And Professor Nagy has been invited as a speaker in different parts of our country. The theme which he likes to deliver in his speeches, they are uh, fundamentals of uh, biomechanics and cell kinetics, nonlinear analysis and application, biomathematical modeling in the advancing world, neuro-linguistic programming for future programming, neuropsychological uh, programming, and many other subjects that I don't want to explore all, uh, all his uh, speeches here, but uh, he's a popular speaker. He's a very excellent academician of his university and he has gained popularity for his innovative style of speech and presentation. And he has a very uh, popular book uh, to his uh, credit. Uh, many of his uh, articles have been uh, published in different national and international uh, journals. He has gained popularity for his book, uh, it is a, a perhaps a quote author book, uh, a textbook of uh, dynamics of rigid bodies. It is a very uh, popular book and it has been uh, uh, popular among the students of mathematics across the country. He has many research publications. I, due to the pursuit of time, I don't want to reflect, uh, reflect upon all his. Uh, a contribution, research uh, articles, research publication, and books. Today, I welcome uh, Professor Nagy to our family, to philosophy family. Uh, friends, today, you know, we, we have with us uh, Professor Dr. K. Omnaran Rao. He will present a brief synopsis after the talk of Professor Nagy. We have with us our Moder our moderator, our host, our convener, our Arminia philosophy family, Professor Pramod Kumar Das. I welcome him. And with this, I also welcome once again, all the teachers, students, and scholars of philosophy and other subjects, means mathematics and other sciences to this program and with this I, I once again extend my hearty welcome to uh, Professor Negi and I would like to uh, call upon him to start his speech. Over to Professor Negi. Namaskar sir. Sir Namaskar. Sir Namaskar. Uh, Professor Negi. Namaskar. 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 Okay. Thank you. Over. Welcome, sir. Okay, okay, okay.
Okay, are you hearing me? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, are sir. You hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Respected Professor Indu Khanduri Pandey, all other distinguished learned delegates, everyone who is associated directly or indirectly with this program. First of all, I would like to thank each one of you to give me this great opportunity. Especially, I'm thankful to Professor Indu Khanduri to give me this great opportunity. And I also welcome each one of you in this program. Friends, as the entire world is indulged into the panic of this COVID-19. But it is hoped that new dimension of saving life will be definitely we will have in near future. So we should hope that we all will have the energy and ability to conquer this COVID-19. In this context, today I'm delivering this presentation, this, 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 this lecture on neuro-linguistic programming. To elaborate this program, let us see all around us. What we see all around us in this present scenario is that the maximum distances of the world has been minimized. Only it is possible due to the science, technology, and information. Whatever we want to get, that is possible by simply pushing a button. And this, that is why this age is of automation. In this age of automation, a question comes before we all. Are we succeeding accordingly? Are we happy? Are we prosperous? Are we satisfied with this life in which the races of different kinds are, 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 are having? So it's a question upon which we will have to see today through this neuro-linguistic programming. Friends, if your answer is yes, we are doing something, we are succeeding, we are happy, then really it's a good signal. But if you are not finding like that, we are not finding like that, then what can be done in this advancing world? So as this greatest opportunity we can have in our life even every moment. We will see that all the things, all the reasons are somewhere, somewhere hidden inside us. Two or three years back, WHO observed, noticed that in the entire population of the world, around 90% people are suffering from some diseases out of which about 80 to 90% people are only suffering only because of psychosomatic diseases means mental problem mental diseases and we can see that how damaging this scene is 80 to 90 percent people are suffering from the mental problem, psychosomatic disease. And in this pandemic, 
COVID-19, the situations are more and more deepening. So we can see what if situation has reached all over the world. This is very important question upon which we all have to sharp our talent, our mind. Though there are several schemes running by the different governments in order to save the people from this great loss. Despite of that, today I'm taking here one of the most important technique or program that is neuro-linguistic programming. In this neuro-linguistic programming, as we can see that it consists of three parts, neuro, linguistic and programming. Neuro means brain, nervous system. Linguistic means communication, language pattern. Language pattern, communication is divided into two parts. Verbal, as I'm speaking to you, non-verbal, action, body language, etc., etc. And programming is a computer word, which means is a specific model. Model for getting success in any field. So combining all these three, we can clearly see neuro-linguistic programming enables that how to program or suggest our mind to success, to get success in any field, in any task, in any assignment, in any plan. So if you will deeply look at the subject, we can clearly understand that the subject describes in various branches, various fields, because the man, human being, actually want to get the success all the time. So this neuro-linguistic programming is meant for achievement. That is why this is also called to be the new technology of achievement. New technology of achievement means what is new technology there inside us? Oh, of course, new technology inside us is our thinking pattern, our language, our uh, thought generates a very special kind of the behavior, which is called to be the personal technology. And this personal technology of speaking, thinking process, thought pattern is new technology of achievement. So in order to describe this, I'm considering here some models. First of all, Kaizen model. It is a Japanese who gave a beautiful model. According to him, any big problem or big assignment or any big work is to be divided into some small parts. Supposing we are planning to achieve something in a year, especially I'm talking about the student, they want to achieve their good results in a year, then that result can be achieved by breaking this whole program into small parts means we will have to focus upon each day better each hour then we will focus our whole potential our whole knowledge our ability on the subject for an hour for one hour and then we can use this methodology throughout one day week month and whole of the year this technique is very useful in the present scenario. 
Parkinson's law. Again, this is very interesting for discussing this. We will see what is basically this law, this rule. Basically, this Parkinson's law stands for the utility of the, the, import, the importance of time. We will see our work depends upon the availability of the time. What is the meaning? My meaning is very clear. For example, if you want to deposit a bill, electric bill, up to 31st May of this month, then what happens? Our work expands from here to 31st of May of this month. Means as the time is increasing, the work is expanding. Suppose in place of this, I take one more example. The electric bill is to be de deposited tomorrow up to 4 p.m. Now here, certainly we will deposit the bill up to that time. So what is the, what is happening here? It is clearly depending upon the time which is available to us. If that time is short, the work is also becoming shorter. If the time is large, then the work is expanding. This is Parkinson's law. Swiss. Swiss pattern is an important pattern for especially erasing the wrong ideas, wrong beliefs, bad habits, and phobia, etc., etc. Actually, in our mind, all the wrong or bad pictures have been set. If we want to eliminate all these pictures from our mind, then removing these pictures, we will set a bigger, broader, and brighter picture in place of that. So this theory is also important, known as Swiss model. Hereafter, I want to tell you about law of attraction. Law of attraction is actually derived from Newton's law in which two particles attract each other. Similarly, two persons or more than two persons attract each other when their habits, their qualities, their behavior are approximately same. For example, we are joining a gathering. We always associated with the persons whose views are like us. We don't want to associate with the persons whose views are different from us. This is clearly the example of attraction. Even this used to happen among the people. Manifestation. Dear friends, here manifestation plays an important role in order to equipping, beautifying our potential or our experiences. I would like to draw your attention to the current situation. Here in this current situation, so many informations are coming to us. If we are not using them properly, we are not designing them, we are not modeling them, we are not using architect upon them as according to our desire, as according to our destination, we will see that as such, these informations we are producing outside. This is the, this is not the manifestation. Here the manifestation is very weak. And if same thing is carried on long life, we can see a person, even the intelligent person, if he or she is not working upon his or her own system, his or her manifestation will be not very beautiful. Therefore, I would like to highlight here 
that whatever situations, whatever information are gathered to us, are mingling inside us, that has to be architect, that has to be modified. Some final, broader, brighter, and fine picture is to be created before projecting this to the people outside. Whatever picture we build in, in our mind, in our neocortex brain, same picture goes outside. This is manifestation. And what happens? What happens? The result is not so attractive, influential. Hence, through this, through telling you this manifestation, I would like to say that whatever communication we want to make before that, we have to think, we have to architect, we have to design our that communication according to the requirement. Reaping. It is a saying, as we sow, so we shall reap. I mean, if we action and reaction, action and reaction, whatever action we are creating, same reaction from the outside is, exer is exerted upon us. So these are some basic points. Along with this, I want to share my views with you on the basic fundamentals which are used in neuro-linguistic programming. It is belief. The whole life of the human being depends upon the quality of the belief. If our belief is very high, certainly our quality of living throughout the life will be very high. Thought. Thought is actually responsible for creating our word. As a thought came to the mind of great scientist Newton. Before that, Apple used to fall down world, but a thought of coming of, of coming of a, an apple came to his mind. He thought upon it why. And this thought ultimately created a big theory which is known as Newton's law of attraction. Feeling. Feeling is actually the vibration inside us or in our body. Feeling plays important role if we are having some knowledge but we are not having any feeling it reaction, its response will be very slow. Action. Many times you might, you might have seen that we plan to do something, but we do not put this into action. What happens? Many times we have thought to do something in life very special, but without action, we are not able to perform this in the right way and the result is not very good. Emotions. Emotion is the ultimate motivation that is created inside us. This is used in neuro-linguistic programming. Affirmation. Affirmation is a positive suggestion, positive command to our brain. Our brain is actually the supercomputer. Whatever suggestion, whatever command we give to our mind, it does, it does work accordingly. So if we give positive affirmation to our brain, say for example, I'm good in studies, I can do this work. I have plenty of potentials and like that, these are some positive affirmations. Due to these positive affirmations, our mind is empowered. And when our mind is empowered, we are full of energy and we put ourselves in mindfulness position. Creative visualization. Creative visualization is the method in which we rehearse, we get training to do any piece of work before it actually happens. 
what is the meaning as today i am delivering this lecture i had already visualized something supposing that this is the audience this is the expected audience this is the standard of the audience this is the requirement of the audience and these all things informations i put inside my mind and hereafter i planned to deliver this lecture repeatedly when i do this it is creative visualization which clearly helps us in actuating in implementing our potential at any place in any situation for any purpose this is the summary of neuro linguistic programming now this is human mind model in psychology the human mind has three levels conscious mind subconscious mind unconscious mind but in neuro linguistic programming in place of subconscious mind and unconscious mind either we use the term subconscious mind or unconscious mind i mean in neuro linguistic programming we are using only two mind two parts two levels of the mind conscious mind and subconscious mind basically what is mind the mind is the part of our invisible transcend world of thoughts feeling attitude beliefs and emotions in a simple line single line are they able to see the screen and yourself no no are they able to see the power no no, no no please do it i'm only visible seeing my no are they able to see the can you ask them if they are able to see the presentation but i'm only seeing my presentation no no can you ask them if they are able to see the presentation okay 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 i will ask are you hearing me yes, hello sir. yeah are you hearing me you are audible okay so everything is okay you are audible sir you are you are audible and your presentation is visible sir okay, everything okay. is okay sir yes sir yes sir Let me continue please okay so my next point is what is mind <clears throat> mind in a very simple way i can say whenever our brain is in action it is known as mind listen again whenever we are using our mind uh, we, we are using our brain it is called as mind so it means when we are speaking we are we are listening we are using any sensory that time our brain is mind now levels of mind number 1 conscious it deals with logics analysis decision making judgment presentation mathematics and science see here this comes this conscious word is a part of our physical world this is the part of our mind which is always associated with the outer world in terms of logic analysis decision making judgment presentation mathematics and science now it is very clear that if our conscious mind is is strong certainly mathematics we will be good enough in mathematics and science our decision making power will be good the mental power will be high so we can see whether our conscious mind is active or not checking all these points here subconscious mind this deals with innovation creativity arts and control of the body so the most important thing in the subconscious mind is it does not know what is right and what is wrong directly it follows the conscious mind whatever order the conscious mind gives to this unconscious or subconscious mind it directly 
follows it without any question. Very, very interesting. Our life, our, uh, I can say, our life, real life in which we get the excellence starts from here. This is the point upon which we will have to emphasis repeatedly and repeatedly. You see, again, conscious mind, we are using 7 to 10% only. Subconscious mind, we are using 90 to 93%. And for better explanation, we can see here this ice work in which the upper portion of the snow is 7 to 10%. The hidden part is 90 to 93%. Now, here, I would like to draw your kind attention that in our daily life, what we are doing is <clears throat> actually in this fastening and fastening word, advancing word, we are only making the races. We are racing to achieve something and we are only aware of conscious mind. We are aware of consciousness. We are not using our main part of the mind that is subconscious mind, which is 90 to 93% of the entire mind. If we talk about the strength, it has been observed that the power of subconscious mind is thousand and thousand times more than conscious power of conscious mind. So we can speculate. We are using a little mind. We are associated with the external world, but we are never looking upon the subconscious mind whose strength is thousand and thousand times greater than conscious mind. It is the theme of today's discussion. How to grasp, how to register, how to uh, how to activate the subconscious mind, how to grab the subconscious mind so as we can get success in any field, even by a little effort. Let me ask you, have you seen the difference between a common and uncommon man? The common man only uses the conscious mind and little subconscious mind and he is reserved up to some certain limits but in the same age group with the same IQ level with the same knowledge another person who is using his subconscious mind is advancing day by day and he is really really achieving a lot in his life so please if you want to achieve something in life, please, today here on words, take care of all these things. Though they are very, 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 very small things, but these are very, very important things. Looking for word, modalities and some modalities. Modalities as we have sensories, eyes for seeing, ears for hearing, skin for feeling, nose for smelling, and tongue for tasting. Through all these sensories, which are <clears throat> modalities, are getting inside us. And from our childhood, from our, uh, can say, from our, uh, from our beginning, so many kinds of the images, wrong or right, has inserted introduced inside our neocortex brain, main brain. And today our behavior is decided by that, those images which we have inserted inside us. We are not ourselves, we are not as we would be. We are the people which we have created inside us. If we talk about the image of a person, image of city, 
image of an object if by mistake by any reason we have put the image of that inside our brain new cortex brain in a wrong way whenever that picture that person comes to us appears to us that previous image is set is triggered though today he is giving us something very important but our point of view is like bad imagination so question is how to change it how to renew it how to make ourselves renewed how to beautify this image or these images here we are using some modalities see for seeing distance color size shape state and direction say for example any wrong image is occurring in our mind of any person any object now the distance of that person or that image the color size shape state and direction we can easily change and we can set this as according to our desire as according to our requirement so same same thing we are talking about the hearing distance direction loudness pitch and state by changing all these we can change the quality of hearing something we have heard in a wrong way that is troubling us not that trouble that sadness that grief we can minimize by putting that voice away and away and away and away from us and in place of this we put we set the right hearing congenial supportive to us and in this way that effect wrong effect that was inside us can be minimized same thing happens in feeling feeling so it is observed that either it is a case of seeing hearing or feeling ultimately all these stimulation when go to our neocortex brain main brain ultimately these are interpreted in terms of in terms of light in terms of in terms of figure in terms of colors in terms of structures means if some voice is coming from outside but we don't know the meaning of this a voice comes to us a feeling comes to us but if we don't know the meaning of that voice that feeling it will not be created in our mind its figure image will be not set in our mind by the way i take this example a person who does not know english we are speaking to him in english though it was very simple i say you say apple but he does not know the meaning of apple though i have or we have said to him in a right way apple apple but he is not able to follow us because he does not have the knowledge of this he could not set the image of this voice in his mind is it clear are you hearing me yes sir yes sir very clear very clear sir now see okay yes okay. sir now see as for example i take here some lemon i i take here i i call lemon but any somebody does not know the meaning of lemon okay that it this lemon taste will only affect the persons who know 
the meaning of liman other do not right so this is in this way very very interesting for our bigger and bigger projections in life what we have to do is ultimately we have to access our neocortex brain upon which all the frequencies all the informations of our life are deposited but we have to architect it architect it we have to design it we have to mold it we have to beautify it as according to our destination if our destination is clear our goal is clear then that whole energy that is coming coming from outside can be transformed into the required destination in terms of required destination therefore all these informations are trap evil can be mingled can be associated as we are requiring in this way neuro linguistic programming i come to next point neuro linguistic point neuro linguistic programming the process of creating models of human excellence in with the usefulness i am reading this again this is very a very useful term the process of creating models of human excellence in which the usefulness not the truthfulness is the most important criteria for the success say for example it is very sunny today very hot today but i have to go due to any piece of work outside from srinagar where i am living so i go as i go outside i say it is very sunny today what happens think upon it i say i, I said truth it is very sunny i said it is very sunny today how can i go there what happens here i said truth it is a truth but neuro linguistic programming stands for usefulness in place of this i am saying though it is sunny today yet i can go there as this seems to be very pleasant for me are you hearing me hello yes sir carry on sir very nice carry on sir. okay 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 this is very beautiful topic now what happens here i am not talking about science i am talking about usefulness i said this is the pleasant for me pleasant season for me where i can enjoy because i have the biggest i have the bigger destination that is why i am able to go there otherwise i have be, i would have been flattened down right so it is the study of structure neuro linguistic programming is the study of stru structures of subjective experiences belief thought feeling attitude action emotion and suggestions now here is all about neuro linguistic program in terms of sets i have represented this neuro linguistic programming is totally behavior language and the neural pattern whatever we want to do in our life we can do it this is a new science new science new area new emerging areas neuro linguistic programming is a dynamic suggestic program which i will suggest you to continue in in uh, coming time okay here neuro linguistic programming to understand neuro linguistic programming we will have some presuppositions these are very very important we already have all the resources we need inner voices sensations feelings etc etc next one is the map is not the territory the map is not the territory what what is the meaning meaning is what we think what we imagine what we have put the <clears throat> imaginations in our mind are not the final 
their limitations can be hired can be broadened can be lengthened therefore today that it is the right time to change our maths our beliefs our thinking pattern and here in <clears throat> next part we have we cannot not communicate it is very very interesting we cannot not communicate means if we say no it is not possible for me our brain does not work upon it our brain does not do upon does our brain does not do work upon it we cannot not communicate say suppose we want to give something to somebody and he is not taking what happens ultimately that thing comes to us so <clears throat> this is really very very important this is a separate topic for me but here according to this limitations i want to tell you that this is very very whenever any piece of work of any kind any assignment is given to us please accept it when we accept it automatically all the resources which are hidden inside us are triggered and we become able to do that work next is there is no failure but a feedback past experiences experience has the structure every experience of our life that is stored in our mind in terms of a file computer file which are structures the structures are our feelings and interpretation can what is the meaning meaning is somebody for example somebody is abusing me but i say oh this is really very interesting for me and i give the shape nomenclature and the value to that to that thing in our own style as much as i can do better and better for me here on words that voice that work that stimulation will work as i am known as i am giving the name to this as i am assuming for me so interpretation is very essential in this life of advancing world we are always making the best choice or choices available to us so it means we will have to make our choices more and more important we will have to uh, prioritize our choices because our nature our behavior depends upon the choices if we have better and better and better choices our quality of work will be certainly better these are two great personalities dr rita richard bandler and dr john grinder in fact in 70s these two great personalities did their work on neuro linguistic programming today their work is transpired all over the world and they trained about 20 25 lakhs people around the world fortunately i got training under the supervision of dr richard bender in in 2015 nlp techniques what are the nlp techniques we use here some techniques for nlp <clears throat> number 1 is changing the belief if you want to get something very special in life we will have to change our belief system we will edify we will hire our belief system because whatever we are not getting in our life is only because of our uh, ill or or a small belief system anchoring this is also very 
interesting phenomenon. Anchoring. Please, one, once looking ahead, draw throw light in your past. Remember the most important event of her life. Most important event of her life. Remember it. When it comes in mind, what happens? You can see it. This is the pleasant time for us. Now, soon after this, take any biggest problem. Biggest problem of your life. This is anchoring technique. I'm repeating this. Whenever we have any problem of any kind, any situation we we have we have got, we have incurred some loss, we are suffering from any problem, or we are assigned some big work, then before that accept all these as such and then for a while throw the light on the most important moment of your life when you have got success by closing your eyes so and and that moment has got repeated for four or five times and do this tapping like this do this like this this is tapping 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 remember that scene feel that scene remember that scene visualize that scene repeatedly do it and now put yourself before that problem or that assignment and then repeat this tapping like this you will see now you are enough courageous to do this work. You have got your talent, you have got your patience, you have got your potential access. This is anchoring technique, mirror and building report. Suppose I'm able to draw your attention fully towards my lecture means whatever I'm speaking to you, you are exactly following this. This is mirroring technique as we find when we stand before a plane mirror. The image of ours is obtained as similar to us. This is mirroring process. So whenever the bounding between two persons listener and speaker becomes like this this is called to be mirroring nlp technique but when we produce the technique where you where we all have the speaker and the listener all have the same back same ground i mean when Suppose I am able to perform this lecture as according to your, as according to your wishes, as according to your desire, as according to your choice. It means I'm creating or I'm building a report with you. This is NLP technique. So whenever we produce ourselves, we communicate something to anybody in any society, we should remember the mirroring and building report, reframing the thoughts. If we once start any walk using any thought, and by the way, we are not succeeding because of this thought, then please reframe it, change it, set a new thought. Creative visualization. Creative visualization, I will deliver in two parts. Number one, any work, any planning, any assignment, say suppose public speaking, 
public speaking is our destination. Then this process will be done in two parts. Number one, place where the is where the program is to be held, people or audience, situations, requirement, opportunity, level, etc. etc. All these things we will bear in mind. And then we will also see the people, audience, even the highest type of the people attaining this program and lowest type of the person, weakest person in uh, present in the, possibly present in the program. All these things we will have to think in our mind. We have to run our mind as according to the possible situation. And then we see all these things in mind, closing our eyes. See, I'm going there. The people are sitting there. They are awaiting me. I'm going to the dais. My voice quality is this. I am personality is this. My language, body language, my way of speaking, drawing the attention, making the report, making the mirroring with the people is like that. Think upon this. This is the first part of visualization. Through this, we have, we have made a practice in our mind to understand the problem, to act in the, in the situation. Number two is this previous part, first part is totally present in present continuous. ING using ING. I am doing, I am seeing, I am doing like that present continuous tense. But in the second part, when the lecture or the program is over, what happens? In the second part, we suppose that the work or the assignment or the program had been done. What happens after that? After that, the we suppose we visualize by again closing our eyes, visualizing that the audience is giving me a standing audience, saying once more, clapping, shouting, and some people are coming to me, taking some autograph from me and like that, run your mind like that and please do this regularly. Whatever you want to create, you want to have, do it practically, regular practices for about 30 days and see the change in you. It is the science of unique kind. Positive affirmation. It is observed that when we give positive suggestions, positive commands, to our brain in alpha position, alpha position, alpha mind position. What is alpha mind position? Alpha mind position is we generally have two times. We have alpha mind position one in the early morning when we get up. Soon after that, we give positive affirmation to our mind. Say, for example, I can do each and everything possible today. I am rich. I am intelligent. I am hardworking and so on. And in this way, this is the first time when we, we can do affirmation. And the second time is when we are about to sleep. That is the appropriate time for positive affirmation. Same thing we will repeat just before sleeping, going to bed. So we will see a lot of, of changes in our personality we will have after doing these all things regularly, mind programming.
a different lecture but here as according to this time i will say mind programming is very very important say in our daily life in one second about 2 lakhs informations are coming to our mind and if you are not properly working upon them nothing new is going to happen in our life so my advice through this mind programming is after each 2 or 3 hours after some interval of 2 or 3 hours please check your position check yourself what did i learn during these 2 or 3 hours properly check yourself though the answer may be zero but now your brain your mind is quite active to do better future plannings if anybody though he or she is very intelligent but he does not have mind programming he will see they are doing nothing in their lives though they were very intelligent but if a common person common student common man does the mind programming after the feasible interval of time 2 hour 1 hour 1 day in a deep way deeper and deeper way he gets success in life or she gets success in life therefore you can ask me why in terms of mathematics i will tell you when only the informations are gathered in our mind in millions and billions and billions and billions nothing is very clear to our mind it does nothing but when we access some important informations out of these thousand and thousand and thousand informations it works properly for example if we are in a very crowd and people are crying something somebody is some saying something all the people are saying something and we go outside of leaving this crowd we go outside and somebody asks us what happens what did you learn what did you hear in that crowd answer is clearly nothing but if in this crowd somebody calls my name hello where are you i'm calling my name definitely i will suddenly certainly look at him very soon means when we specify the things when we get a special things in life we prioritize ourselves our choices we becomes better and better this is my keen advice looking ahead nlp process for change this is present situation and this is our goal where where we have to build our desired state throw some techniques techniques is very very important technique is very very important tools of nlp means techniques in our life what is missing why we are so stressed so so <clears throat> so poor so uh, so glad so 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 sad the answer is we have plenty of opportunities we have plenty of techniques technologies but we don't have our own personal technique that is why we are lagging behind if you are if our technique of presenting ourselves is very specific is clear then we can get the desired state this is a technique for activating the subconscious mind as i said in the beginning that the theme of this program is to finally activate our conscious mind if we are able to activate our subconscious mind then we can do whatever we want we can be the person whichever we want to be so here you will see this is the outer world and this is means this is subconscious this is conscious mind and these are the informations to be given to the subconscious mind number one is logical way when we directly 
produce the instructions to the subconscious mind through the logics. Say, for example, if we touch any hot rod, suddenly we will draw it back because this is hot and our hand or finger will get heated. This is logical. Repeated to activate our subconscious mind repeatedly the process to be applied <clears throat> any statement any process is to be repeatedly done say for example if you want to remember or learn something we repeatedly read it speak it time to time and time and time i will take you over to the past childhood when a b c d alphabets or counting from 1 to 10 was very difficult for us to learn but after iterating it doing this repeatedly 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 we have become the master of alphabets and counting means through the repetitive methods we have activated our subconscious mind so if we want to activate our mind subconscious mind repeatedly the process would be done trance the better example of trance is when we whenever we learn something we some somebody says something to us we keenly hear to him then that time our eyes are closed. Only we are associated with him through our ears. In that situation, our eyes are closed automatically. So whenever any message of any kind from the conscious mind is to be registered to the subconscious mind, trans method is to be used. Trans method means conscious mind is to be slept, that has to be stagnant, that has to be fixed. As I was telling you, the example of hearing to somebody, when we keenly listen to somebody, automatically our eyes are, eyes are closed. A strong feeling, when we are full of feelings, anybody speaks something, that directly goes to our subconscious mind and it it is activated high authority order suppose we are in <clears throat> our duty and that duty time is 10 to 4 exactly as we as we come out from our office at 4 pm just that at the time a notice comes from the higher boss. I'm coming to your office. You wait me for one hour. What happens? What happens? We follow it. And our that message directly goes to our subconscious mind. And we follow it. Urgent. If I say or we say that please go 10 kilometers by the cycle everybody will say everybody will say why why to go because this was not very urgent but if in place of this we say please go 10 kilometers away from here through the cycle because an injection for the serious problem is to be bought very soon what happens here now this is very urgent we will get ready to go there. We will bring it here and we will be succeed. Okay. So here, these are some techniques for activating subconscious mind. This, these all we can use in our daily life. The miracle of using these techniques is found Miracle, miracle is found very abundantly, very 
Importantly, in all the fields of life, my advice to you all is, do practice all these things. Principles of subconscious mind. Our mind has some principles such as deletion. Our mind does not delete anything. Our mind does not delete anything as, as it is done in computer or in our mobile. What happens then? If anything has come to our, in our mind, it will always remain there in our mind. Unless or until the bigger, heavier, broader picture is not set before that. So, if you want to say, for example, I say, generally we used to say that tomorrow I will not come late. What happens? Please check this statement. Tomorrow onwards, I will, I will not take quarrel, liquor, sorry, liquor. I will not smoke. What happens? Have you seen anybody in the life who has, who has, for, who has left this smoking? If your answer is no, then it shows that why? Because we have called smoking the clear cut image of the smoke is built in our mind and it cannot be deleted. If you are agree with me, then we will not use these kinds of the words. Generally, to the children, we say, Oh, don't go there, otherwise you will get, we will, you will fall. Don't beat him through by this stone. Have you seen that he has left the stone? These are some practical things to be born in mind while dealing with all the problems in life. Distortion, distortion for this. Our mind builds the different pictures. Different minds build the different pictures. For example, I say apple. As I said apple, you all will have different reactions. So these different reactions are because of distortions, past experiences. Generalization. When any <clears throat> Anything happens one or twice or thrice, we generally say you are, you always do this work. For example, our baby in the home powered some cup of tea two or three times. We generally say, this is your habit. Always you do this. Always you do this. This always is generalization. And this generalization damages our potential. Our rising skills, please avoid it. Placebo and no placebo actions. Placebo effect or action is when we give positive command to our brain. Yes, I can do. It has been also that the dopamine in our brain is accessed which creates the strength in our body and all the hidden resources inside us are triggered, that are accessed and we become in a position to complete this work. Placebo effect is very useful. No placebo actions. It has been observed that a person was able to do some piece of work, quite intelligent, has potential enough, but he denied for a piece of work repeatedly two or three or four times. Then work was given to him, but he was found unable to do that simple piece of work, which he had already done several times easily. So these are placebo and nocebo actions. Belief, thought, 
feeling, actions, and emotions. These are the main principles of our subconscious mind. Now look at this picture, mind programming for drawing performance. Here, suppose we are given any task, its time is known, venue is known, situation is known, event to be done is known, limitations are clear to us. Then, if we want to perform this work, we want to do this work beautifully, excellently, then this method, this methodology is very, very important. What we should do is, first of all, uh, so first of all, accept this work by saying that this is the first chance when I am getting this opportunity in my life. As we install this program in our mind, our hidden qualities, our hidden resources are evolved. And after that, we find the resources, we search the resources inside us, useful for that work, necessary for that work. If you are not accepting this task as the first chance or opportunity, then those hidden resources are not evolved. Therefore, by accepting this task, supposing first, this is the first chance as a first opportunity for me, clearly our resources are evolved. And then how to finish it? How to finish it? Finishing is also very important. So we have to then say, after mind programming, we have to say, we have to command ourselves, we have to give suggestion to ourselves by saying, this is the last biggest opportunity for me. So here I'm using two words. Number one is for starting and number two is for finishing. Number one is first chance as a first opportunity. And the second was, is biggest opportunity at the last chance. First and last. Why? Why like that? To understand this in a better way. I will take over to you any rod. Any rod or anybody whose one end is here known and the other end goes to the limitless length. It has no other end. Limitless. There is no other end seeming to us, visible to us. What is the information to us? What is the information to our brain? Number one. Number two is, if same rod is cut at a distance of 10 meter, 5 meter or 3 meter, what happens here? It is of it is a fine kind. It is beautiful because it has some definite shape and size. It is visible. It is informative. It is creative. It has more information, some suggestive. It means same thing I'm doing. If we say I have got this opportunity, but we are not taking the another end in a beautiful way. We are not making this interval closed, it is not going to affect our beauty of that work. It means whenever we finish the work, we start the work or we finish the work, we have to understand our positions when we are starting and when we are finishing. Initially where I was, when I, where, where I was standing, and at the end point where I am standing. Comparing these two, certainly our potential will be grow, will, 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 be, will be growing. And in this way, the mind programming can be had 
for the cloning performance. Here, I have tried to depict some desired and programmed types of the mines. Now, nowadays, NLP is very useful in achieving goals of any kind, of any time, overcoming the problem, to overcome the problems of any kind. Say it is departmental problem, it is society problem, it is family problem, or any kind of the problem, mental problem, or any kind of the problem, or uh, we can say this is the problem of job or any in any field this can be solved through this nlp program building self confidence get rid from bad bad habits elimination of fear and phobias creating rapport and strong relations personality dynamics this program is very very important for these all purposes workflow for achieving the goals any goal can be achieved by using these points here this is the model given by dr brandley and that program has some six or seven points number one is goal setting and its greatest value we generally make our goal we set our goal but if we are not including its value what is its value for us or for me it is not completed it is it cannot be done for example i say please go from here to 10 kilometer on foot nobody will go but if in place of this i say please go 10 meters on foot i will give you one lakh rupees or you will get something very important there now what is the difference now somebody will be ready to go there because this work pays some value to him burning desire to get success we should have burning desire sharing the past experiences positive affirmation quality learning creative visualization and smart practices these are some this is a list of some international nlp trainers this is again the list of some important books in nlp Thank you, good evening and safe stay. Thank you very much. Any query? Dr. Maharana sir. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. 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 Okay. Can you listen me? Sir. Yes, sir. Please carry on. Okay, thanks uh, so much, sir, uh, for your um, excellent presentation on uh, neural linguistic um, uh, programs. Actually, uh, it is a, a new subject for all of us, but uh, we have been personally benefited out of it. Uh, through your uh, novel way of um, a presentation, you have uh, reflected upon. Uh, that is how, how the neuro linguistic program is uh, had uh, influenced our language and uh, how it was in everyday words and you have also said how the, how it is very useful for human communication and you have cited the uh, law of attraction uh, manifestation reaping and uh, and projected a model of uh, creative uh, visualization uh, through which you have set everything what to do in our day to day life when we are assigned a particular project your 
that is the your, your projection is very much uh, beneficial for all of us and you have also told how the conscious mind and subconscious mind play vital role in our subjective experience sir uh, thanks so much for your beautiful presentation and exploration of different ideas for our subjective experience in our daily life for achieving any 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 success in any assignment which is assigned to us now um, uh, i would like to request a professor dr k umnaran rao to present a uh, brief uh, synopsis on the talk of uh, professor negi oh over to professor rao over to professor rao okay Namaskar, everybody. Uh, uh, thank you, sir, uh, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I should uh, first uh, congratulate the speaker for uh, uh, bringing before us uh, a very new topic in the area of philosophy. Well, we have not dealt uh, such a topic before. Thanks to Indu Madam for uh, introducing Professor Nagi to uh, uh, the philosophy family. It was really a nice lecture. and i hope uh, every member involved in this philosophy family might have uh, enjoyed this lecture so professor negi started with uh, um, uh, started by saying that uh, things have been uh, uh, materialized but still he raised certain fundamental questions as to uh, whether we are happy he says if we are if you feel you are happy then it's all right no no issue but if you say somehow uh there are failures there are obstacles there are uh, problems we have say, a stressful mind we are not progressing uh say 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 everything there is a problem we see a problem everywhere then this is how where uh, uh, uh neuro linguistic prog uh, programming would be uh, uh would be of a great help uh, uh, that can that can that can shape uh, the mind uh, uh direct the mind uh, uh, in the path of uh, success now uh, he has defined a um, uh, neuro linguistic program uh, as uh, a, a new technique of assessment uh, say it says it's an aim to uh, uh, achieve something uh, 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 um, say say let's say clearing out a problem solving a pro i mean uh, solving a problem or uh, getting uh, um, uh, or reaching it as an objective or fulfilling uh, all that we need to uh, do uh, by uh, consciously programming uh, the mind so it's, he places mind uh, at a uh, at an important position and he, uh, he he tries to say how mind how the subconscious mind is so much important over the conscious mind and this is this uh, subconscious mind that should take an active part in our lives so that we can give a new shape a new direction to whatever we do uh, uh, to bring something new or bring some novel ideas Uh, or or say uh, solving the problem so that is how uh, the subconscious mind uh, gives a new direction to all the things involved um, to uh, to clear out uh, the barricades the obstacles that come in our way so having said this he talked of uh, three models very important models when well, we can also use these models in our life he talked of a uh, kaizen model uh, where um, i saw uh, it's a sort of analytic model that we also uh, discuss in philosophy wherein we have a complex situation we try to break that complex situation into simple situations deal the simple situations so indirectly the complex situation or a problem is solved so that is the kaizen model very nicely uh, sir explained this and then he talked about the parkinson's model wherein he talked about the utility of uh, of time so um, he talked of uh, um, our ability uh, to complete a work in a given time so in this model much importance is given on uh, the usefulness of the utility part uh, uh, in the world and then we talked of uh, um, uh, the switch model and i i i saw this model to be a very positive model because this is the model where uh, uh, where we can erase out all the wrong ideas the false beliefs um, the phobias um, the various sort of things that bring in stress in our mind and uh, the switch model is instrumental in erasing all the negatives and uh, this model helps us to direct the mind uh, 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 to towards, towards thinking something positively so this models are really uh, helpful and new to us and we have nearly we have really learned from this sir 
and then you talked of the law of attraction wherein uh, you say that uh, like people sit together like uh, um, unlike people cannot be together and uh, you talked of manifestation when you say man has immense potentialities and uh, you need to make that explicit and uh, before communicating we need to rethink of what we are communicating and that's how we can make ourselves manifest before others in a more effective manner and that would be very much useful and you know you talk of reaping where you, you talked of um, the law of karma as you show so you reap so the reaping well uh, to the students of philosophy well doesn't require more of narration so very nicely you took these models and laws and uh, tried to put for us how to save um, uh, how to orient the mind uh, uh, in a positive way and getting the thing uh, so looking thing uh, so complicated looking thing um, um, uh, getting done so simply so easily by consciously directing the mind to the various techniques now you said that that the whole human being uh, life uh, depends on the belief system uh, whenever there are narrow belief systems we have to uh, give away these narrow beliefs to in order to uh, uh, improve the quality of thinking of our life so uh, it is important we should have a belief system but this belief system should not uh, restrict us rather we should um, try to improve the belief system so that uh, new thoughts flow in and the old beliefs are given uh, away and new beliefs are uh, created uh, projected so that we can advance move forward then you say thoughts are very important whenever there are good thoughts and uh, positive thoughts these thoughts have uh, a great power to change the world you talked of newton everybody saw the apple falling but it is the thought in mind uh, thought in the mind of newton that uh, got to the world the law of uh, gravitation so it's important to have a good thought a positive thought then you talked of feeling feeling is a vibration uh, just knowledge is not enough uh, it should be a vibration there should be a positive vibration to whatever you have whatever you know uh, a positive vibration should always be there in human life then you talked of action um, um, you said the, when you talk of action you thought i said uh, thoughts are uh, the actions are based on uh, our thoughts if our thoughts are clean and pure then definitely the actions would be uh, right uh, right ones and having said this you also said that um, actions should also be attached to some emotion because uh, if actions are emotion free if there are no emotions attached with actions then the action would be more of a dead sort they have no life so emotion has to be attached with action and most most importantly you talked of uh, uh, say affirmation where you said if you give positive commands to the mind then we can have uh, positive results so it is so important to uh, give uh, positive commands to the mind in order to get uh, uh, work done in a better way uh, in an easier way in a simpler way rather than thinking of the negatives more than the positive so it's important to direct the mind in a positive way in order to get uh, rid of the problems to solve the problems or to uh, face the challenges that we can cross in our lives and you talked of also one more thing important thing uh, creative visualization there should be a, a, a sort of uh, a creative mind uh, a visualization wherein whatever you want to do uh, for the future in the future course of time you need to visualize fast you need to think over it you need to plan it you need to um, uh, see what can be done what what sort of action would bring about uh, um, the work done rather than um, 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 pondering over the problem pondering how to do no well you should think of how to do it and positively you should think um, 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 how that problem can be solved so very nicely you have taken the uh, the basic structure of the um, um, human mind and human personality to direct the human being uh, uh, in, in the road of uh, in the path of uh, success then you talked of the mind the conscious mind subconscious mind when you have I mean, you tried you there is no need of unconscious mind when you say well very nicely you have said you beforehand you define mind um uh, uh, mind as an outcome of the functioning of the brain so mind is invisible what we see is the brain but what is mind mind is an outcome of the function the activity of the brain now you say the that the, uh, the different parts of brain mind you talk of the conscious mind and also the subconscious mind and you say that the subconscious mind is uh, uh, around um, uh, 90 to 93% it is uh mostly neglected the conscious mind is only 7 to 10% but 
You say it, the subconscious mind has a much more force than the conscious mind. But you are but we are simply neglecting it. We need to focus on it because it is this subconscious mind that carries in it a sort of novelty, a sort of creativity, a sort of innovation, and also it has a great capacity to control our activities, our mind, our system, our behavioral patterns, everything. So, so subconscious mind, so from the, from the model of um, neural linguistic program, we are trying to show how subconscious mind is so important that we greatly neglect and we should think of focusing more on the subconscious mind in order to bring in new ideas, new techniques and um, restructuring our belief patterns so that uh, novelty is put into force. So something creative, something innovative comes into force. So very nicely you have said, sir, and, and you, you talked of um, the structures, the, the, the physical structures, the sense organs and the submodalities involved therein. Where you say that something that is wrong, something that is distorted can also be uh, uh, restructured uh, by um, restructuring the submodalities. Um, 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 uh, the wrong can be minimized and what that appears to be wrong can also be structured to give uh, it a right direction and say. Now, and, and, uh, later on, you talked of um, uh, how N NLP is uh, uh, focuses more more on uh, the utility part, more on usefulness, and not on truthfulness. And uh, the basic idea behind it is, uh, if you focus on the utility part, you will feel yourself more prepared to face the challenge, to uh, to, to reach at the objective and get the things done. But if you think of uh, um, the, the truthfulness. Uh, you quoted the example of being sunny outside. Now, if you if you focus on the truth aspect, well, you will be um, 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 uh, going down um, uh, uh, um, from the side of uh, reaching at the objective. Your object, you should you should be clear with the objective. If you have an objective, the sunny day will not matter at all. So this is how NLP uh, structures our, our mind to be positive, in spite of the distortions, in, so, in spite of the negations, in spite of the negative conditions. We need to be prepared for the positives to get the objective to reach at the objectives. Now, uh, very nicely you have said, sir. NLP, uh, uh, neuro linguistic prob uh, program, help us to um, uh, say, 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 um, help us to uh, restructure um, the subjective experiences. Maybe uh, those be in the form of our uh, belief pattern, feelings, or attitudes, or emotions, etc., etc. Now. Finally, you have very nicely, but one thing um, that I got uh, very sharply from you is that NLP uh, basically aims to uh, reshape uh, human personality. It wants to restructure the thought patterns, the belief patterns, and um, it, it, want, it wants to um, make a person to become a better person. Um, um, wherein we um, think of uh, a person be uh, modified to have a better personality. So uh, thank you, sir, for uh, this, uh, this this point. It's really worthy because um, um, because NLP uh, can make a person feel much better, much comfortable by training the mind, by training the subconscious mind. And you said very nicely that uh, um, that uh, that NLP is very dynamic, uh, dynamic and synergistic. And you said um, you talked of the three suppositions in the NLP, wherein you said there are certain uh, resources. But these resources should not be taken as limited resources. There should be always a thought for more. There may be limitations. There may, should be a sort of imagination for more, for broadening the vision, so that a new law, uh, a new, new, new land of thought and action and uh, can be reached at and the desired objective is also fulfilled. And when, one nice thing you have said that there is no failure in uh, NLP. There may be feedbacks, but there are no failures. And uh, uh, the past experiences may have, as you say, the past experiences may have a structure, but that structure should not be taken as final and binding. New structures may be created according to the context, according to the situations, by making effective choices. Now, as regarding the techniques, so um, um, you have talked of changing the belief system, dropping down the narrow belief systems can help us uh, greatly. And one more thing, anchoring uh, uh, as a technique. Uh, Really, I, I was um, happy to uh, um, um, acknowledge that anchoring uh, is really a um, malaba. It has really a malaba put a deep impact on my mind because anchoring, yes, whenever you come across a problem and you try to uh, take the problem when your mind is disturbed, 
you cannot focus on the problem you cannot think of the because you cannot think of the problem you can never find you cannot reach at the solution to the problem so very nicely you have said whenever there is a problem first of all remember of an event or an incident that has make that has made your life feel so good so comfortable so easy or think of a success story uh, where you have done something good something great now that will make your mind pleasant having pleasant for being uh, for having done something for having achieved something so your mind becomes very cool comfortable having uh, thinking of achieving something uh, good in the past now that very moment will take as uh, 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 that pleasant moment can take as it can taken as the ground for thinking of the problem and if you think of the problem then maybe uh, maybe 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 and i say maybe why uh, uh, Certainly, I think uh, we can uh, reach at the solution to the problem. So, anchoring as a nice thing. Well, we in mathematics. I was a student of mathematics. Uh, even when uh, we came across when, when very easy looking problem also sometimes becomes difficult while answering in the examination hall. Why? Because the mind is so much agitated that time. So, what 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 this anchoring technique suggests is leave the problem, leave the space in the answer script, go for attempt other problems and. when you have done the attempt of the question paper to, uh, to the nearest full to come back to the problem your mind is then cool you will find that oh oh how difficult i was feeling about this problem now this problem looks so easy so this is all about anchoring so very nicely sir you are saying you are talked of mirroring uh, putting your thoughts into somebody's mind and building a report and your thought of uh, uh, reframing the thoughts reframing the thoughts means it is uh, uh, thinking of uh, building a new hypothesis than the old hypothesis Somehow mistaken or have gone wrong, and tricky visualization of talked of well, um, um, uh, and positive affirmation also we have talked of uh, uh, giving that is giving right command to the brain so that we can think uh, get the things done in the right manner. So above all, you talked of uh, the programming of the mind is so important, and in order to program in the mind, uh, for uh, we need the subconscious mind uh, to play a very important role. Where where NLP as a programming uh, can bring about. Uh, Uh, a change uh, in our lives so you say that whenever we come across uh, the outer world uh, we need to whenever we come across a problem whenever we think of uh, some challenge so uh, uh, the subconscious mind it's not the conscious mind it is the subconscious mind that needs uh, certain uh, programming and uh, if the programming goes on right then the uh, sub- then the subconscious mind becomes uh, uh, extended uh, it becomes impactful it becomes brighter and then can have a clear vision of the problem or the challenge that is uh, before uh, before us and then and, and and we can clearly find a solution to the problem and the path for uh, uh, and the path for reaching at the objective is also made clear to us so this is how we can uh, design our we can say we can program our subconscious mind so that it can become extended uh, uh, impactful and um, uh have a impetus for uh, uh, for 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 reaching at uh, the desired uh, um, 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 product at um, um, so easily and so comfortable now whenever you said you said very important things when whenever there is in the workplace what happens whenever a new thing is designed a new job is designed we think of the negatives well i have not done this job before how it could be like going to that well so that is the negative attitude towards life and uh, you you said very nice thing build a positive attitude to that life uh, to that to, to that uh, uh, work take it as an opportunity take it as a first chance and um, and, and and accordingly program the mind so that the mind becomes cool and comfortable with the new assigned work and and you'll see uh, if you take it as the biggest opportunity and it is the first and the last chance maybe end up as the last chance you think of that uh, in such a manner maybe uh, you can come out with good results so it's over, overall i can say it's a very nice lecture where uh, where in sara said that it's so important to train our subconscious mind so that we can um, face the challenges the toughest challenges and also the biggest problems so smoothly and so easily so finally he talked of a uh, very usefulness of nlp by saying that uh, we can achieve various sorts of goals uh, even the toughest looking goals so easily and so comfortably by a proper designing of the subconscious mind and also nlp would greatly help in uh, building our self esteem or self confidence it also help us uh, in getting rid of uh, 
uh, negatives, the negative impacts, the negative factors, and also the bad habits. It also eliminates the sort of phobias, the, um, the fears, etc., um, etc. Et that agitate our mind, that keep our mind stressful and uh, uh, agitated. So, and also uh, finally, you say the uh, overall NLP uh, structures one's personality to achieve uh, greater heights, and this is how NLP is of uh, much uh, worth. And thank you very much, sir. Uh, we are really thankful to you. We are grateful to you for a very nice lecture because you have shown the dynamics of human personality, how uh, human personality can be positively oriented to achieve something, um, even the toughest of things. Thank you very much, sir, for your nice lecture. Thank you once again. So over to Professor uh, uh, Kailas Mahana, sir, for, uh, the, uh, for carrying future course of action. Okay, thanks, sir. Uh, uh, thanks so much. Uh, Professor Rao, for presenting a nice uh, synopsis on the talk of Professor Negi. So far as your deep understanding and observation is concerned, really it is a very useful topic for all of us and it's very much uh, essential for human experience. Now over to Professor Pramod Kumandas for moderating the internet sessions. Over to Professor. Over to Professor Das. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, we have with us Dr. Harish Chandra Sahu, and he, he will speak something. So I request him to give his observation, sir. Please unmute yourself and uh, speak. Dr. Harish Chandra Sahu, sir. Hello. Hi, audible. Doctor. Yes, Hi, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I must congratulate uh, uh, Professor Negi for giving an excellent uh, uh, deliberation uh, uh, regarding the uh, creative aspect of mind. I, I must tell that uh, uh, I was working on a philosophy of mind in 1980 and 87, where we have to come across Freudian model that is uh, conscious, subconscious, and unconscious. Uh, if conscious mind is 10%, uh, subconscious and unconscious mind is 90%. Uh, perhaps uh, uh, Professor Negi has uh, uh, not taken unconscious mind into consideration, but later on I found that he speaks of past experiences, which is important. And if you look at Freud, there is id, ego and superego model. Id is the past event which gives rise to the present, and the present gives rise to the super ego model. Uh, it, is a, it is an excellent uh, deliberation on the creative aspect of mind. But I have some uh, something to say that uh, uh, the concentration of mind is uh, necessary. Uh, what is his reaction to that? How to make ourselves renewed? How to change the trip system? How to design as per the destination? And I must tell him, that uh, if mind is equated with brain, perhaps the Karl Popper and Essel's model is important. And one thing after this observation, I would uh, tell the organizer, the request the organizer to fix up another lecture by Professor Negi to elaborate how to, the, how to program the conscious mind in an effective way, since it is not possible to deliver in one lecture. The concepts are clear, but the main theme, how to do it, the practical aspect is very important. Uh, I hope uh, I must remain here. Thank you very much. Now, now I request uh, Professor Negi sir to have his response over the observation of our Dr. Sahu. Over to Professor Negi sir. Please have your response over the observation of Dr. Sahu. Sir, please unmute, sir. Please unmute. Sir, please unmute. Your microphone is off. My, 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 am I, am I not, uh, am I audible? Yes, yes. Now okay, now okay, sir. Carry on, sir. Carry on. Is it audible to you? Yes, sir. Carry on, sir. Yes, carry on. Okay. Carry on. Uh, I'm happy to see the uh, comment of uh, Dr. Sahu, who suggested so many things in connection with the a neuro-linguistic programming, actually, this is totally a way of 
operating the mind different from psychology <coughs> here we are talking about how to operate the mind and as far as neuro neuro linguistic programming is concerned it is widely used in the present scenario and in future uh, i will i can deliver a lecture on how mind yes. programming program is done it is very near to the key of opening the uh, uh, the uh, new, neurons of the nervous system and here we will understand what chemistry what type of the chemistry what is what type of the neural pattern what type of the uh, synaptic connections are there how they can be made richer faster and quicker what are the various devices for this i can deliver this kind of the lecture in near future thank you thank you sir thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your beautiful response. Uh, we have with us uh, Professor Anjit Ghosh, sir, and Professor Amita Balmik, madam. If uh, you have any response, please unmute and uh, give your response. Because there is no question. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Nagi, for his excellent uh, presentation of the theory and practice of NLP. uh i presume that nlp thinkers they uh, have based their theories the initial thinkers of uh, um, nlp on noam chomsky's uh, view that mind is uh, genetically preprogrammed in the acquisition of language so when uh, they are uh, basing their uh, most most of them most of the thinkers you have uh, Worked on them in detail, so you can very well uh, tell us that if that be the fact, then uh, I also uh, think that what Professor Sahu has said, we cannot just neglect the discussion of unconscious, because the thing is, if if if, if Chomsky is right, then he will say that mind is genetically pre-programmed. So if mind is pre-programmed at our birth. in the acquisition of language in the acquisition of everything so in that case how would you respond to it that without uh, mentioning the unconscious the this nlp uh, practitioners they can uh, cure the that they as they claim that they cure certain diseases like phobia allergies or all these things and uh, um, and the in the scientific circle they are branded as pseudo scientists so how would you respond to this so i would like to answer the questions actually this is yes sir yes sir this is based on microscience microbiology and it takes a lot of time to understand a problem to improve our cell even the cell kinetics implies that it will take a lot of time because of neuroplasticity it takes some time to model the a neuroplasticity that is neuronal pattern inside us it takes about 30 days or 25 days so this is a long process repetitive process the practice is required for this so what i am adding finally is practices is required long practices better to say whereas other sciences look look at the immediate product this is somehow different from them because this is on the biological field we will cultivate the crop in long time this is the conclusion thank you sir oh, thank, thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, i see no no question in the chat box there is no question in chat box uh, we have with us professor amita valmik madam madam if you want to speak anything you can unmute and speak madam Amita madam if you want to speak uh, you can unmute and speak Ramosa one thing one thing uh, yes yes to what uh, professor uh, goes has said uh, he said that um, uh, mind is uh, if mind is taken to be a uh, pre program now if i uh, have learned from uh, the lecture right then i would ask the speaker is it that even though we take the mind as pre program 
but there is every part consciousness is uh, subsumed in the subconscious because uh, in that uh, in the freudian psychology the uh, unconscious element is more important than uh, our subconscious so that is why i raised this issue that i tried to link freud with chomsky's uh, yeah. saying I mean, that's, why, that's why that's why that's why professor neki i think that's why professor neki did not take into account the um, the unconscious in his model yeah. and he has somehow submerged the unconscious with the subconscious that is the reason because you are talking of a different model and neki uh, professor neki is in a different model where he has consciously avoided the unconscious so that's how right, that's, right. Right. that's how the difference all right Thank, thank, you. You. thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, over to the speaker. Sir, um, Professor Negi, sir, uh, shall you speak? Uh, shall you give your response? Your okay, final sir. response? Yes. Um, shall you give your part? Shall you give your concluding remark? Hello. Hello, sir. Shall you give your concluding remark? So yes. Actually, this kind of the work you all have done is appreciable, recommendable, and uh, as far as my knowledge about this uh, organization or you are this kind of. uh unit unit you know uniting the people is concerned i'm very much happy to see your spirit you are uh bringing knowledge as a as capsules before the society to make their life easier better and beautiful so in future whenever i will get the opportunity i will be with you so at at the last i would like to highlight something that we all are born in this earth for some very special work so if we will understand the worth of this life the values the quality and the propulsion the excellence inside us will be definitely grown and this benefit of this team including me now will be will be lucrative to the society in a nice way thank you sir thank you very much thank you thank you sir thank you so we shall invite you we, we shall invite you again and again with the beautiful topics and we, uh, we all hope that we, you, you 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 shall come and you shall del- you shall deliver your talks uh, with new topics thank you sir and uh, now it is over to professor maharana sir okay For- okay okay pramod sir would you like to put your uh, own observation Um, I, I shall I shall speak this much that uh, uh, Professor Negi uh, in his interpretation um, um, focused on the subconscious element of mind. Uh, okay, interpretations uh, interpretations are interpretations. Uh, why so? Why, why we should not compare uh, somebody's interpretation with another? when freud is saying something he is giving importance to unconscious mind in vedanta conscious mind is given importance vedanta does not admit do admit but in vedantic tradition conscious mind is given much importance consciousness conscious mind okay so there are so if there are three um, stages conscious subconscious unconscious Uh, um, um, i enjoyed this talk when we are listening to a speaker or an interpretation or a presentation uh, okay the, this aspect is being highlighted the subconscious mind and personally i believe that yes uh, i am very much uh, impressed by his uh, talk um, when he said that uh, this subconscious mind is 90% 
and the conscious mind we manage with conscious mind and all mathematics science logic uh, they all belong to our conscious mind uh, which is only 10% and our all sufferings our all um, sufferings in the negative sense and creativity in the positive sense all belong to our subconscious mind if we shall think deeply um, we, we all will realize that yes this is the fact this is the fact um, one thing i shall appreciate about the speaker that he spoke um, 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 uh, more than one hour and uh, 30 perhaps one hour and 30 minutes standing on one place standing that is how he is giving importance focus on how the body mind and spirit will remain alert in doing something Sometimes we, we, have, we have no patience uh, even to um, listen to a speaker for one hour. Sometimes we close our camera and take tea or sleep or do other works. Or even if we speak, we sit uh, uh, with laziness. Um, that shows, that shows. So it is very opt uh, uh, hopeful, very, um, um, he, he has given um, um, a very optimistic uh, note of uh, human living. And one thing I appreciate, uh, I, I, I appreciate that he said, uh, the, 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 the esteemed speakers said, that whatever assignment uh, you are given, first you accept it, accept all challenges. Okay, so it is true that mind is pre-programmed but the pre-programming mind can be reprogrammed and and in that way we have such a powerful mind that our mind can cancel all pre-programmings all preconditions all pre-tendencies and can create new direction to can go in a new direction and can adopt new programmings. So keep programming your mind so that the previous programmings will be regulated, uh, moderated and totally uh, abolished. It is also science. In science also we believe that our, the cells of our body are getting changed. We are, we are, we are different persons in every year. Last year I am not this, by biologically I am not the same person. Cells are changing, thoughts are so dynamic that yesterday's thought um, is not today's thought, thoughts are also changing. So we have to accept the present and we have to accept the new programming and that is the um, dynamism of a human mind. So my, human, my, human beings are so blessed, so blessed. Yes, preconditions will be there, pre-programming will be there, past experience will be there, uh, everything we, we, is there. But our mind is so powerful that we can cancel out all these preconditions, pre-programmings and we can have a new mind with a new programming. Thank you. Thank you. This is my one, personal... One last sentence pers I would like to say that uh, Professor Negi has very rightfully said that it is usefulness which is more important than that, than truthfulness <laughs> than truthfulness. <laughs> yes, so that that should be that uh, the guidance for all philosophical mm. thinking. I should say that we should take it in that light always. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yes, yeah, our mind should be pragmatic in its approach. Otherwise, it is otherwise it is useless. Thank you, thank you, sir. Um, uh, sir, you please, you please, uh, you please select another topic uh, of your choice. Um, uh, we have uh, we, uh, um, uh, we have programs for the month of June and July. All these two months are already packed. Uh, so please, for August, um, um, you please select another topic, and we shall invite you, sir. Please, please. We are all obliged to you. The Pelosi family is. A, uh, highly obliged to you for your contribution, for your dedication. Thank you, sir. Okay, thanks uh, so much, Professor Pramod Kumadas, for your uh, nice observation and moderation of the program. Now, I, I would like to uh, request uh, Professor Dr. K. Omnaran Rao for proposing uh, 
uh, gratitude to the speaker and the audience and the question raisers for for their uh, kind uh, attendance and participation in the session over to professor rao thank you sir um, for giving a, a, another opportunity to interact uh, with all of you uh, it was a really a uh, very uh, nice lecture i say it's a, a innovative lecture in a sense that we have uh, invited such a personality who infused his, uh, in us some new thoughts uh, some new ideas uh, and he has given a structure a model on which we also can shape our thinking uh, even the various uh, concepts and ideas that we have in philosophy they can also be planned and structured according to the models that uh, professor negi has uh, provided to us well the models well uh, this uh, Uh, if I do, I have noted for the Parkinson model, the Kaizen model, and the Swiss model. These models, if we really reflect on and uh, bring in philosophical ideas there and uh, work on, really they are um, interesting models. And um, well, he talked of uh, uh, neuro linguistic programming, uh, wherein we can think of um, facing the challenges in the right direction. Um, even though there may be, um, uh, there were questions wherein. Um, Uh, you said uh, when, um, uh, when 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 if the mind is uh, preoccupied it is structured how to deal with the issues so he has come up with the model where we can have a flexible mind we can restructure the mind we can uh, save, save the mind and uh, we can think of the context we can think of uh, uh, the, the problems in, uh, in issue taking the context into sense and that's how we can move forward rather than rather than binding the mind to a structure so this is how neuro linguistic programming is that useful where we take the mind to be more flexible it is more fluidy rather than rigid so yes mind is invisible it is in the air we don't know so it is in the most it is the best fluid form that we can have even it is finer than air because i can think of um, sitting in uh, professor negi's place sitting here because mind is that that powerful it can move that way so mind can be restructured it can be reshaped and accordingly we can face the challenges the challenges may be tough things may be tough but we can uh, restructure the mind provided we give what he says uh, we, he talks of affirmation when we give affirmation to the mind prati when we give positive comments to the mind we can uh, deal with the toughest of things in very simple and easy way so this is how neuro linguistic program has really helped us in shaping thinking um, Uh, our thinking process well uh, i think the process the problem the process in which we used to think in philosophy i think that has gone some somehow outdated and such sort of thinking so to also come into being in philosophy uh, we should not think of uh, it is a fixed structure we should come up with fluidity we can think of restructuring the structures that we have built we might have built a structure but we should have every right to destroy the structure well in the linguistic philosophy we talk of wittgenstein well he he has he has written tractatus logicus philosophicus wherein he built a system and he personally broke that system and that's how uh, uh, professor negi's uh, programming is also suggestive of that there should be no pre structure everything is in a fluid state we have every right to break the structure to be free to build a new structure and i should not say a structure To, to to build something that can face the challenge that can take the present situation into account and solve problems and that is what even post modernism talks of there should be no fixed structure there should be no closed system everything should be open everything everything should be free that's how some innovation some 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 creativity would come in and that's what the professor negi also talked about that the subconscious mind is so creative so innovative but we are leaving it back we are focusing on the concepts and somehow neglecting it last the subconscious so it is time that we focus on the subconscious and think of it uh, seriously because it's a serious lecture and it has said a lot of things to us and it is time to focus on the subconscious to bring in some innovative and uh, creative things into even the area of philosophy so thank you professor negi for such a nice lecture uh, like the professor das was saying that we would be inviting again and again yes you are worth invited invited to this family because we have really enjoyed we got many things to learn and definitely in the month of august uh, I, i i would like to see you again with a new uh, topic 
where we, we want to learn more from you sir very nicely uh, you have uh, um, structured your lecture you have your talk uh, you have put before us a number of things to think over and this is how your lecture is really meaningful and um, hoping for another good lecture in the month of august and thank you very much sir from the platform of philosophy family thank you sir i also thank all the question raisers especially professor uh, ranjit ghosh sir uh, um, professor pramod das and um, um, professor harish rao and all others even i i thank um, amita valmiki for uh, being present in this webinar and also thank professor indu kanduri madam for uh, for introducing professor nigi to philosophy family and see uh, professor i should thank doubly thank indu kanduri indu kanduri madam for also introducing professor valmiki to philosophy family so many new faces we are able to see uh, from the platform of philosophy family thanks to professor kanduri and also thank uh, all the participants uh, in this webinar it was really a very good webinar uh, uh, it was it was scheduled to end at 7 o'clock and it is nearly 8 one hour uh, two and a half hours three hours uh, we are sitting and there was no uh, doubt uh, that, um, um, that 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 we enjoyed everybody enjoyed and there is uh, no element of uh, say a, a there was there is no boring element in the entire lecture because every line carried a sense so and, and i should uh, thank all the question raisers for raising interesting questions and all the participants for their presence here and i should thank um, the moderator professor das for beautifully moderating this session and also thank the coordinator um, professor golas um, um, mahana sir for coordinating uh, for 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 uh, introducing the speaker and carrying on other activities for this uh, philosophy family so thanks everybody uh, involved in making this uh, webinar a successful one thank you all for uh, this uh, nice webinar once again i thank the professor uh, prof i thank the speaker professor negi for uh, his uh, good lecture and uh, hoping to see him again from the uh, from, from from the platform of philosophy Club. thank you thank you all over to professor uh, kalas mana sir for the final close okay thanks so much professor narao for your nice words uh, in favor of uh, professor negi and now uh, over to professor pramod kwadas for the closure of the meeting over, over to professor das